Hi, welcome to Reading with Nana, and hello to my returning friends. Today's story is called The Three Little Pigs. It may be a little different from one you've heard before. This story was retold by Steve O'Spanis, The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig with three little pigs. One day, the three little pigs decided to leave their home to go seek their fortunes. The first little pig met a woman with some bundles of straw and said, Please, will you help me get some straw to build my house? What? said the woman. I know I never saw a house made of all straw, but if only that will do, I'll give you the straw to you. I'll help you build it too, little pig. Yes, yes, replied the little pig, and I thank you. And the two worked together to build a house of straw. Then the woman went on her way. When the little pig was all alone, a wolf came knocking at the door. The wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The little pig squealed, no, 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 not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, replied the wolf. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the straw house in and the first little pig ran away. The second little pig met a man with a cart of sticks and said, please, will you help me get some sticks to build my house? What? said the man. A stick house isn't strong and won't last very long, but if only that will do, I'll give these sticks to you. I'll help you build it too, little pig. Yes, yes, replied the second pig, and I thank you. And the two worked together to build the house of sticks. Then the man went on his way. When the little pig was all alone, the wolf came knocking at the door. The wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The little pig squealed, no, 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 not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, replied the wolf. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. At last, he blew the stick house in and the second little pig ran away. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, please, will you help me get some bricks to build my house? Ah, the man said, you're really very clever. A brick house lasts forever. Since only that will do, I'll give these bricks to you. I'll help you build it too, little pig. Yes, yes, replied the third little pig, and I thank you. And the two worked together to build a house of bricks. Then the man went away. When the little pig was all alone, the wolf came knocking at the door. The wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The pig squealed, no, 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 no. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, replied the wolf. Well, the wolf huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed again. But he could not blow the brick house in. So the wolf changed the subject and said, Little pig, I know where we can find a field full of fat, tasty carrots. Where? asked the little pig. At the farm next door. Be ready tomorrow morning and we'll go pull some carrots for lunch. After all, it's no fun to eat alone. Then the wolf smacked his lips. Ooh, the pig thought. I know what he'll do. Make piggy stew. So early in the day, I'll play this game my way. And the little pig said, okay, I'll go too. Yes, yes, replied the wolf. 
And I thank you. We'll leave at six o'clock sharp. Well, the little pig left at five o'clock instead, pulled the carrots and was back home before six. Soon the wolf came knocking at the door and said, little pig, are you ready? Ready, replied the little pig. I'm going to come back again. I already have a pot full of fat, tasty carrots simmering in my fireplace. The wolf was annoyed, but he knew there must be some way to trick the little pig. So the wolf said, little pig, I know where we can find a tree full of big, crispy apples. Where? asked the little pig. In an orchard on the far side of town. Be ready tomorrow morning and we'll go pick some apples. I want to make apple jelly for our breakfast toast. After all, it's no fun to eat alone. Then the wolf smacked his lips. Ooh, the little pig thought. I know what he wants most. Piggy sausage with his toast. Once more, I'll use my trick. Get there and back real quick. And the little pig said, okay, I'll go too. Yes, yes, replied the wolf. And I thank you. We'll leave at five o'clock sharp. Well, the little pig left at four o'clock instead, hoping to get back home before the wolf came. But the orchard was far away and the little pig had to climb a tree to pick the apples. Just as the little pig was climbing back down, the wolf appeared. This time, he was angry, but he knew there must be some way to trick the little pig. So the wolf said, little pig, I see you got here ahead of me. How are the apples? Very big and crispy, replied the little pig. Here's one for you. And the little pig tossed the apple away from the tree. When the wolf ran to get it, the little pig jumped down and raced home. The next day, the wolf appeared again. This time, he was furious, but the stubborn wolf would not give up. He just knew there must be some way to trick that little pig. So the wolf smiled and said, little pig, I know where there is a wonderful fair going on today. Where? asked the pig. Nearby in town. Be ready this afternoon and we'll go try a slice of their very best pie at the fair. After all, it's no fun to eat alone. Then the wolf, you know, smacked his lips. Ooh, said the little pig. I know just what he'll try, a little piggy pie. But he would never dare to eat me at the fair. And the crafty little pig said, okay, I'll go too. Yes, yes replied the wolf, and I thank you. We'll leave at three o'clock. Well, the little pig left at two o'clock instead, got to the fair and brought a big barrel home. On the way home, the wolf appeared up the road, just as the little pig had thought he would. The little pig hid in the barrel, and soon it began to roll. The barrel rolled down the hill with the little pig squealing and oinking and oinking and squealing and screaming and scaring the wolf so badly that he ran straight home. The next day, the wolf appeared again. He told the little pig how a strange wild machine had thundered down the hill and frightened everyone in its path. But the little pig just laughed and said, Ha! I was in that barrel that frightened you. The wolf began to rant and rave, and finally he screamed, Then I'll climb down your chimney and eat you. With one bounding leap, the wolf was on the rooftop, but the little pig had a pot of boiling water in the fireplace. When the wolf jumped down the chimney, the little pig lifted the lid from the pot. In fell the wolf, who bolted straight back up and ran away. Never! to be seen again. Hope you like this version of the three little pigs. Click like or subscribe. Until next time.